Welcome to Banali's Kitchen. Today's recipe is Motisur Ke Laddu. Motisur Laddu is one of the most popular dessert in India. It is often served in occasions like marriage or festivals such as Ganesh Chaturthi or Diwali. Motisur Laddu is made from fine booty where the balls are tiny and it's cooked with ghee or oil using a kind of small coarse lid. So let's start. For this recipe, I am using 1 cup of zippy flour or gram flour, beans of food color and 1 cup of sugar, half cup of water and 2 cardamom and 2 sliced almond. For making small bundis, I am going to use this disposable aluminium food container instead of bundi maker ladle. It is available in the market. But if you want to buy the bundi maker ladle, then of course you can go ahead. First, place some paper towel and then place the aluminium container. First, I am going to make some round marks using soft sticks or pen. Just press from the corner. Here you can see the round marks. Now just make rest of the round marks and keep just one inch distance. Here is our all the round marks are done and it's only one inch distance in between. And I want to show you the back side and see it's one inch distance. And then we are going to the next step. Now I am going to make the small holes into the round marks. For that I am using a toothpick. Make sure the hole should be very tiny. Otherwise booty will be come out big inside. Here is our all the holes are done and they are looking really tiny and here is the back side see it's looking really tiny i'm using this small food container only for a demonstration but if you have bigger one then use that one in bigger one you can make little more holes now i'm going to make the batter for that add one cup of sixty flour or gram flour then add half cup of water First add little by little and make a kind of thick paste. If you add more water in it then it will be lumpy. So just add little by little. Once you make the thick paste then add water in it and mix it and make it just pouring consistency. Better is looking good and there is no any lumps. Add little more water and again mix them well. Add less more water and again mix it well. Yes, this is, looks perfect. And if you think your batter is still thick, then add little more water and set it again. Now I'm adding my red food color in it and give it a good mix. But if you don't want to add food color, then it's it's up to you. Here is our bundi batter is ready. In a pan add oil and once this looks hot then we will start frying the bundis and heat should be high flame. Oil is looking hot. Now just pour the batter into your homemade bundi making container. Now you can tap it with one hand or otherwise you can do like I am doing. And here you can see the lots of small bundis are coming and they are start frying and they will take only 30 seconds or so. You no need to fry a long time, otherwise they will be burned. Here you can see my all the bundis are looking great and they cooked well. And it's time to take out from the hotel. And for that, I am using a tea strainer. Mm -hmm. 
Now just place them in a paper towel. It's so simple and so easy to make the small bundis uh, and you no need to buy any small bundi maker ladle. Just use this aluminium food container to make bundi ladles or mutisu ladles and I'm sure you will get the same result. And here is our second batch is done. Just take out from the hot oil. Just hold few seconds for the extra oil and keep them into the paper towel. Here is our all the small bundis are fried up and these bundis are very crispy. Just break one or two bundis so that you can get the result. They are crispy or not. Now I'm going to make the sugar syrup. For that add one cup of sugar. Then add two cardamom and then add half cup of water. Now just let it boil and let the sugar dissolve completely. Our sugar dissolved completely and just turn off the heat. Now just transfer the sugar syrup into another bowl or saucepan, but you can use same saucepan. Now add the fried bundis into the sugar syrup. And then give a good stir with a spoon or spatula. Yes, this is, looks good. Now just now just put the lid on and let it cook 10 minutes over medium heat or until all the bundis absorb the sugar syrup completely. And keep stirring in between. Here you can see our bundi start absorb the sugar syrup and we need a little more minute and just put a cover and let it cook after exactly 10 minutes over low heat here is our bundis are done and they are looking like twinkle pearls now just let it cool down a little bit and then we will go for the next step now i'm going to add crushed almonds into it and again give a good mix you can add melon seeds cashew nuts or raisins instead of almonds as well and it's time to make ladoos first apply some ghee into your palms and then take one handful of bundis and give round shape using your both palms but if your bundis are too cool then you cannot give shape so bundis must be warm here is our first one Montessu ladu is done and it's looking great and now keep it into your plate or in a bowl In the same procedure, make the rest of the bundis. And now I am making my second one, Motichu Laddu. And it's also looking very great. Looking really great, isn't it? Here is our Motisu Ladu Zadan and I got 10 Motisu Ladus. They are little big in size, but if you are making little small in size, then you will get 15 Motisu Ladus. This Motisu Ladus are looking great and taste is awesome. Try this Motisu Ladus at your home and I am sure you will never buy again from the store. Thank you for watching. Bye. Take care.